But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the, you know, the snapshot about, with the real estate market as people still feel that the, um, that, uh, you know, the, the market's going to drop, that uh, it's, not, it's a good time for us to, to maybe wait, uh, to not buy, and wanted to give you true numbers. Hey, Prima Lupe, como esta? How are you? And so wanted to give you a real, real, real numbers. So this way you understand where the market is headed. And then I'm going to also talk a little bit about an, an exp, you know, something that I'm going through right now with some clients. And it'll really tell you, you know, give you an idea of why it's so critical and important to work with a with a uh, true professional realtor that understands what your needs are. So anyhow, let's dive into this June 19 to June 2020 comparison. So when we look at uh, June of 2019, um, there were a total of 5,112 listings in our area. When I say our area, kind of Pomona to Marietta over to uh, San Bernardino, a little bit further out in San Bernardino, um, and a uh, little bit of the high desert, but not too much. So 5,000 listings last year. This year, June of 2020, 4,088. So we've got to drop about 20%. But, but the one thing, so drop of about 20%, but the one thing that's really happening is we're starting to see more people putting their home on the market because it seems like they're really gaining confidence in us as realtors that we are following the true guidelines that CDC is asking of us, uh, California Association of Realtors, National Association of Realtors, that they are, that we are following the guidelines. So more and more people are listing their homes, um, and so that's that gives us a little bit of light. But still, we we are in a, um, you know, there's there's not enough listings now. Remember that number, four thousand eighty-eight homes listed in June, but again, um, there were a total of four thousand eight hundred seventy-five homes that went under contract, that went pending. So can you imagine? There's not enough inventory. We're gonna run out of houses to sell. We're gonna run out of them. So that's one of the key things we have to really make uh, make sure that we um, that we see it. If you're thinking of selling, I'm gonna explain to you why. <laughs> Man, it is a great time. So let me tell you why. June 2019, um, the medium sales price of a home was 409900 June 2020, the medium um, price of a house in the Inland Empire, 432000 up 5.4%. 5.4%. So that means that the, 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 the prices, I mean, they keep going up. It, it, it doesn't tell us that there's a slowdown, that there's something happening, that, you know, that, that there's going to be a market crash. So, and literally, 100% of the listings that were put on the market in June sold. They're in escrow. They're gone. So, now, it's a great time. It's a great time if you're, if you're a seller, and, I'll, and I'm going to explain to you why. So, let me give you some of the cities and where the, the market's really taken off for them. Fontana, um, it went up 5% June over June, June 19th to June 20th. Highland, the city of Highland, which is kind of North San Bernardino, went up 8%. Ontario went up 7%. Um, if we look at San Bernardino, it went up 11, 11%. And Rialto, 10%. Now Redlands, the city of Redlands, went up uh, 16%. It went up 16%. So, again, I don't see how or where people are thinking that the, mar the market's going to drop. Um, but again, we are taking the right measures um, to help you as a seller. Um, as far as, you know, we've got the hand sanitizer at the entry. We're at the entrance of the home. We've got gloves available there. Uh, we post signs about what is, um, you know, what's necessary. So when the realtor and the buyers come in, to the home you know it's they they see that they're posted and we're not allowing kids to come into the properties uh just principals and again some of the things that we're doing as realtors to make sure that we keep you or that we stay in compliance in how we are treating the listings is we are doing professional photos pro photos so no more cell phone photos professional photos only that's the first time when a, when a client is going to see the house they look at the pictures first. Number two, 
we do a videos. In these videos, we do them with drones. And these are very beautiful drones because you can, it literally goes through the house. I don't think the drone goes in there, but they, the video actually does a video of the whole house, backyard, kind of the neighborhood. It gives them a better idea of what's happening with the neighborhood. Now, number three, the thing that we added for these listings is a virtual tour. And, and we, we wonder, we think about virtual tours, you put on that big thing around your face and you know, you're probably walking around and stuff. No, what it is is you're actually clicking on, on, on a link there and what they do with these cameras is they take pictures of the whole place, walls, ceiling, floor, literally pictures of the whole, the whole place, your, your property. And if you're a buyer, that's the third time that you see them because you saw the photos you saw the video and now you're in the 3D tour where you can literally, like if you're walking the property. So it's a great time. So now when the buyer calls me, guess what? They've already seen all of that. They're serious about your home. So if you're thinking of selling, it's a great time for it. Now, the other reason why it's a great time uh, is not just you're going to get looky loose coming through your home is because the rates for the buyers are so low. Rates are so low. They're literally at uh, under 3%. For some people, they're under 3%. So just imagine right now, you could sell your home for about 20,000, 25, 30,000, depending on your price range. And the buyer's payment's gonna be the same as if they bought it pre-COVID. But for you as a seller, you can actually make more money. Just, you know, a house here in Ontario, uh, I think a lot of you saw the video on Phoenix, you know, we pre-COVID would have sold for about 485, maybe 490 because it's a beautiful home. But post-COVID, we were able to sell that house for 520,500, $520,000 and $500. And the buyers removed the appraisal contingency because they really wanted that house. So that's the kind of things that are happening out there with the low rates. It's helping buyers compete to become uh, stronger candidates to give you more for your property, especially if you've done a lot of work for it, you know, a lot of work with it and it looks beautiful. So buyers are, are, you know, putting value to your home. So the other thing that can happen is if these rates go up, your home will no longer be able to be, um, uh, you know, marketable at that price range because now less buyers are going to be available uh, for your home. So it definitely, it's a good, it's, it's a great time for you to come on the market. And as you see, these prices, they keep going up. So you say, what do we do after we sell? Well, let's get together. Let's put a plan of action. We'll show you what we can do, how we can help you, how to get there. Uh, why work with a true professional? I did say that I was going to talk a little bit about that. Um, one of my listings um, that uh, I'm representing the seller, not the buyer on it. So disclosing that. Um, the, the that buyer that bought our home uh, had is was selling their condo, and now one of the things that's happening is that agent didn't put a contingency on that condo. So what happens there? Because they didn't have a contingency, they have to close the condo because the time's up, and now they need to move into our property. Well, they closed their condo yesterday, Monday. We're not going to close on our house because of their lender, whatever issues, till Thursday. So can you imagine you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, literally three days after that. And then we have our clients got two days after close of escrow to move out. So where are these buyers going to go? Those, those, they sold their condo and where are they going to go? You know, and that's why it's very important that you work with a realtor, like the real estate guy, because we are going to make sure that if you need to sell your property and buy something else that we close on your property today and we're ready to close on the next one tomorrow so this way you don't have to worry about you know where am i going to go am i going to go to the homewood suites uh, rent a hotel i'm going to go with my mother-in-law i have no idea but this way we protect you from that sense we make sure that we do things the right way and that's why it's important to work with a realtor that understands um, how to set things up based on your needs. So the real estate guy here, ready to serve you, ready to help you. Um, and again, you know, find me on, literally on YouTube, find me on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn. Um, share this video, share this message with, you know, with your friends and families as we know that the, um, 
that there are a lot of people out there that need help. There's a gazillion realtors out there, but really, um, are they like a, you know, like a big uh, organization, the one that starts with a C? There's a few of them. <laughs> are they just looking for numbers to meet certain quotas? Or are you going to work with a company like ours that we're a boutique, All Nations Realty? We cater to your needs. And are you going to work with a realtor like the real estate guy, like myself, yours truly, right? Uh, so share this video because people do need to find the right, the right uh, guidance here. And, you know, it's one thing that I am very passionate about what I do. I love and enjoy what I do. And I can definitely um, help you guys in, in whatever your needs are. Again, thanks for watching. Questions or anything, send them to me. I will respond. I will get back to you. Have an awesome week. The Real Estate Guy, here to serve you. Now remember, with the Real Estate Guy, you will get the time and attention that you deserve. Remember, the time you will get the time and attention that you deserve. Have an awesome week.